how to set up your iPad mini for, for the first time. So if you just have taken this iPad mini out of the box, then here's how you can set up. At the top here is a power button. You need to press and hold it for a few seconds. The iPad mini will turn on. Now we can uh, wait for it to boot up and we can proceed with the setup process. It should be uh, faster than the iPad mini one. With the version 4 there is a fingerprint right here. Okay, you can choose the language here. So go down the list and select a language. I want to choose English. And from here you can select the country of regions. So choosing the right country will uh, allow the iPad to set up all the uh, uh, language format. So I'm going to choose Australia. So now it's setting up the language such as um, the numbers or the numerics on the, on the iPad. In here you can uh, decide to connect to your Wi-Fi or not. If you want you can choose uh, just uh, a Wi-Fi to connect to your Wi-Fi straight away. So I'm going to uh, put in my uh, uh, Wi-Fi password now. And tap on the join button once you put in the Wi-Fi password. And wait for the icon to connect. So now it is connected. Do you need to uh, connect to a Wi-Fi or you need to uh, put in a SIM card to use mobile connections? Or if you've got mobile data on your SIM card, uh, then you can uh, activate your iPad. So either you have to plug into the computer through iTunes, through Wi-Fi, or if your iPad mini is a uh, cellular version, then you can use mobile data. Now on this location services screen, tap on enable location services. And from here, uh, you can uh, set up the touch ID. If you don't want to test set up the touch ID now, you can tap on uh, set up touch ID later. And I'll tap on continue. And we can always do that at a later stage. Now at this stage you can put in a passcode for your iPad mini 4 or you can simply tap on passcode options and from here you can choose a uh, 4 digit uh, numeric code, you can choose custom numeric code or you can even choose custom alpha numeric code for a stronger password protection or you can uh, simply choose don't add passcode and skip all this together. Tap on continue if you select one of the options. So I'm going to tap on passcode. Okay, now that we move to the next screen, apps and data. From here, you can choose restore from iCloud backup, restore from iTunes backup, set up as new iPad, or move data from Android. I'm going to choose set up new iPad. At this stage, you can also put in your Apple ID if you already have got one. Uh, if you haven't got one, you can uh, tap on don't have an Apple ID and forgot about it. Or you can uh, choose other different options down here. I'm just going to skip and I say I don't have an Apple ID right now. Uh, on the next screen, so you can choose either if you forgot an Apple ID or password, you can tap on this option and it will allow you to uh, try to recover your password. Or you can simply create a new uh, Apple ID. If you want to skip everything and do it at a later stage, uh, select set up later in settings. And I want to tap don't use. On this screen, you can go through the terms and conditions and tap on Agreed once you have finished reading it. And you can choose Continued. So I'm going to choose to use Siri and I'll tap on Continued. And you can uh, decide to send uh, diagnostics information to Apple or not. I'm going to choose Don't Send. And tap on Get Started. And finally, we are now on to the home screen of the iPad Mini 4. And from here, you can always go into settings and uh, set up the iCloud on the right on the left hand side here, as you can see. And you can always go in here and set up the touch ID and passcode. So that's it. That's how you can uh, set up your iPad Mini 4 to get it running. Once you're in here, you can immediately uh, start browsing the internet uh, using uh, Safari to browse. So if you're not already connected to your Wi-Fi, you can always go in there and connect to your Wi-Fi in, in settings. In settings and click to Wi-Fi and from here you can also choose to uh, use the camera by tapping on the camera and you can start taking photos immediately so once you're into the screen there are a lot of things you can do such, such as 
uh, connecting to the App Store to uh, install apps immediately. Uh, there's not much on the iPad, so you need to go into the App Store, install apps that you like, and once you're in here, you can do a lot of things. Thank you for watching this video.